Welcome back to Goldwyn Dinner Club. I Whoa. am uh. Parker. Uh. I'm Griff. <laughs> and we're here checking uh. out what the Duke's got to offer at the Gunsmithy. So Gunsmithy. I'm going to upgrade the power. You can't, you can't afford none of that. Oh, well, never mind. Um... Wow, I, I really can't afford anything. We yeah, we didn't do a lot of like hunting for money and stuff out there. We just kind of went, but that's what you got to do in the beginning. Still Don't worry, he's inside the castle in a room that you can return to very easily. Okay. All right. Here we go. <sighs> castle. Oh, I rest. always wanted a home with windows like this. I love this. I know this place very well, and I have a feeling I'm you know, going to be super I'm from New Jersey, and this is what I felt like every house that I ever went to looked <laughs> like. All the houses are, like, really old and but does spooky. It, and does it, but do, uh, even though it's, it seems really old, doesn't it just feel like they were made in the 80s? Don't you drive no. through, like, a shady neighborhood, and there's a lot of mahogany, and you're like, the no, 80s. No, I'm from, I'm from, like, like uh, the Northeast, where it's, it's like... There are Colo- houses that have been America. there since, like, yeah, like. Hey, go to that. There are houses that, that have been there since New York. Go to that was thing. Like a, a forest. Not that. The little, like, there was, like, a little shelf behind you. Some little, not there. Turn around. Turn around. That. Break that. Break the vases, vases. Use your knife. Remember, you can just use a quick shortcut with the direction pad. All right, turn around. Yeah, but if I forget it. It takes longer to remember. There's also so. a vase, yeah. Right there. Oh, I can break that? Boom. Blap. Pick it up. Be cool if you could throw your knife. If you go in there and, and go in and look straight up, turn around and then look straight up, turn around. There. You see that sparkle on the wall? Turn around. Sorry. I don't know if the video is, like, lagging. You got it. Right there. Oh, I see right there. It. Shoot it down. You've got to get used to using quick shortcut, or you're going to you're going to die. Like I'm trying to help you. All right, pick that up. You got it. Pick it up. Oh, cool. Money. Yeah, I feel like you could, might be able to combine it with something. I can't remember, but I just remembered that was there. You can't use that yet. All right, turn around. Let's get going. Ha, 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 Donkey Kong. Yeah, hey yo. Check out, check, check the drawers. I think there might be something in it. I don't know. I always look at every single drawer. It's been a little bit of a while before I play this. I don't think you can go in there yet. Just keep doing down the hallway. With A's. Yeah, break all that. Break all her crap. Her tacky crap. <laughs> She's like... Uh, I always wanted... I love that, that there's like a room here. A little, that a little serves sitting room. no purpose. Like, no one would ever use these chairs. I would say that is a room for... This house throws a lot of parties, and people go and they sit and they have a conversation. And, like, uh, heads of state. So if you turn to your left and go in that room... Yeah, turn to your left a little bit more. And there's a door right there. That's where the Duke will be. He will be here soon. There's also a typewriter right there. If you want to save your game, there's What's a little this? ball. There's a little ball you can get. I can't remember if it's in this room, but you put it in there and you do a little mini game, and you can unlock something to sell for a lot of money. Ugh. That was awesome. Uh, save. Save it. I accidentally have two files going. Oh no, I had like ten going at once. You're good. There's parts where you do want to, like, uh, I'm going to save in case I want to go back and do that better and not waste. Go to the front door and try to get out. Okay. Max the angels blinded. What? Oh, man. Oh, you've done it now. 
So I've seen like a mod of this where they replaced all the characters with like Rover and Kermit. <laughs> it's like coming at you with all this feminine swagger. <laughs> Time to die. Get him, Rover. <laughs> Lady Damatresk will be very happy to see you. <laughs> Giggling. <laughs> Get him. String him up. Let him bleed out. I say, my Kermit is very much Frank Welker Muppet Babies. Like, I just can't. I can't do an authentic, like, Jim Henson. You know what's. It's always like. Nyah, nyah, nyah. You know what would be a great zombie movie is Mother, instead of zombies, it's Muppets. You you are so I think it's been nice. explored many times before, but the idea that you take literally any, like, now, big, splashy Hollywood movie like the best wow. movies wow. and the replace movies. them all with Muppets but leave one human actor like Christmas Carol like change. Chinatown leave Jack Nicholson that's it everyone else is a Muppet leave, forget it Jake yes, no, it's Chinatown I think it'd be funny like you get bit by a Muppet you turn into a Muppet and, like, <gasps> that was a movie the Muppets. that was a movie Stop. what really? and they screened it at Tim House it was called They Coming did you see that like I think I think Schnepp produced it back in the day they really? coming. Yeah, uh, Muppets were biting people and turning them into Muppets. Oh, wow. They, they, they coming. I wonder if it ever they released. They stole my idea. <laughs> this, is like, this is like almost 10 years ago. Uh, well, they stole it from, like, Time is a Sphere, and they stole it from the same time Did this time movie space? never come out anywhere? It never did, but it was called They Coming, because that was the line, like, the girl escapes at the end, and someone's like, what's going on? And she just goes, They coming. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually shot really well because they did the whole American Werewolf in London like transformation scene of someone turning into a Muppet <laughs> as body horror. Uh, it was insanely good. I'm sad that it like you can't see it. I feel like it was Brendan Small's brother, like the Metalocalypse creator's brother, who made it or worked on it. It's uh, interesting. I'm sad that it. Well, find get me it. their address so I know who to sue. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll get right on that. <laughs> I'm going to need you to go uh, ahead and just, like, rip your hand out of that hook. You do that for me? Thanks, guy. Yeah, just rip it out. Yeah, just rip. There we go. Right through. Her he, mm, yeah, just rip. Real smart. Wait, just, he ripped it down? What? Isn't he stupid? Rip it. Like, pull it. Just pull it out. <laughs> you idiot. He's the now you can't use your hands for the rest of the game. This entire game relies oh, on, using a, on using a hand a gun. You if, need a hand to, to use it. Griff, if only you knew what was going to happen. <laughs> oh, that'll fix it. To yeah, these you're saved. <laughs> Why even bother trying to save your life now? You're going to die of an infection. Uh, Just like, yeah. Do you ever think about how in like medieval times, if you scraped your toe, you'd probably die in a couple days? <laughs> Yeah, just like throw yourself in this fire, man. Like, ugh. Oh, okay. So now who's not persevering with the human spirit? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, this is pretty like grim, don't it's you little, think? It's like, a little bleak. <laughs> is there really like a way out of this? I mean, I guess there will be because it's if a game. But there is a way out of this. We're gonna have to find out on the next episode. We got like two more minutes. Do we? I think so. I've been, I've been clocking it. We can go for another two minutes, but I feel like it's been ten minutes. We can keep going. I'm pretty Get sure. There. Go, go, go. We'll give, them, we'll give them more than what they even ever hoped for. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> oh, those two rats are friends. I doubt it. They seemed uh, frosty at best. I just disagree. Oh, you had to uh, open the inventory to craft ammo. Let's see what we got. It says you could craft stuff. What do we got? Like this? That would be good. Yeah, it looks like you can craft a healing item, too, if you'd rather have that. I would, actually. Okay. Yeah, and remember, you can just quick heal with R1 when it comes time. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Maroon Eye. Examine that ring. Go to your inventory. Yeah, examine that. Just press the action button when you look at the eyeball. Yeah. There you go. The baby keeps coming up. That baby is the creeping me out. 
by far the scariest thing in this whole game. Do you, I really want someone to do like a like a VR tour of this place, like how they do ghost tours, where you go on like the Winchester Mystery House tour, but really the lady just wants to talk about like the wallpaper <laughs> and like how there's linseed oil on everything. <laughs> Honestly, like, that's kind of that's still kind of interesting to me. I w- yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's why I bring it up. I want somebody to do like a VR version of that for Castle Dumbytresk. Now, notice the Wayne's cutting. This is turn of the century, but of course it's actually very modern for. Do you know what's period. cool is Assassin's Creed does that. But, Assassin's Creed, they do a they, they pay the a lot problem, of attention to detail. The problem, and then they have a thing in the game where you can. It's Assassin's Creed though, and I don't. Assassin's want to be Creed in is that. so good, and you can take a tour of like actual locations from history, and they'll actually like tell you about the history of it. I think I'm gonna take a nap through. Locations. Assassin's Creed is so fun for people who love history. It's so fun. It's history, such a cool idea. Dude, history comes alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite yeah. thing when it's like, come to the zoo at night when the animals really come alive. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess a lot of them do, though. Like come the fun to, ones do. Come to Griff's house at 4 p.m. where he really starts to be awake. <laughs> when I start to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> at 4 o'clock is when he really comes alive. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Goldwyn Dinner Club. See you tomorrow, everybody.